but I would, and I would also have on Spencer Pratt. You're going to book him for me and we'll figure it out after. It's very funny why I booked him. Somebody wrote me last night and said, um, just so you know, Spencer Pratt was talking about you on the Howie Mandel show. I'm like, what? how did my name get brought up? So she's like, I didn't know that you dated David Foster. And I'm like, uh-oh. David Foster? You mean so Yolanda's? Yes. I'm not going to get into the details any further because I'm having Spencer Pratt on to tell his story about me and David Foster. You dated David Foster, Catherine McPhee's husband? I'm leaving this open-ended so I can uh, so I can have the conversation with Spencer. But that is oh my gosh. what Spencer revealed on his episode with Howie Mandel. Oh, this is an interesting story. Well, you could have been you, you could have been Yolanda Hadid, and then you would have been on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I've missed so many opportunities. What are you doing with your life? Um, all right, let me focus on your new life plan when I get off because that's a big missed opportunity there, my dear. Yeah. All right. All right, pick up and I have to talk to you about a whole bunch of other things. Bye. All right, bye. I mean, you think hopefully everyone could hear that. I turned it up. Uh, what what's going on? She calls in, she talked to Mike last night and she dated David Foster? You fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Um, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Well, there you go. She dated David Foster. She almost was a real housewife of New York instead of Leah. But uh, the Mike thing is interesting. Um, do I think Mike did this? Do I think it's all real? Yeah, I mean, look, I have just an issue with pictures that I think when I saw those pictures, personally, I could interpret them in a lot of other ways. And I also think it's really fucking creepy that he's looking at the camera in one of those pictures. Do you? See? He's literally looking right at the camera. Regardless, yeah, I think it's all real. And I think that's awful. And I mean, this poor girl, I'm telling you that really happened when I had him on the, uh, he was screaming at her between takes. Anyway, my point we were trying to make before Miss Yucatel called in is um, I don't get involved in all the stuff sometimes that goes on online because it's just a lot of it. It's a lot of information. I'm like, what is all this? But did you see, I have no idea what account this was posted on, and I have no idea from who, but did you see the RHONJ bloggers are posting this stuff that's going around now, and it's this conversation with Teresa. It says Teresa Giudice. She has a blue check next to her name, so it's all real. And she says that, I guess, Teresa apparently was offered a spinoff by Bravo and said that the girls are in therapy right now for everything they went through and it's just not a good time. So I got to go back and read it. I don't know if it's the blogger that's saying this, that Teresa told her, or if it's actually Teresa, but there is this correspondence between this blogger fan and Teresa. I have no idea who I have to go figure this out and see, but I have so many questions here. First of all, since when does the queen, your queen, not my queen, she ain't my queen. I got one queen, honey, and her name is Madonna. And I got a second queen, and her name is Cher. Teresa ain't none, no queen of mine, nor is Messy G, nor is the Sarge. You know, someone asked me why I call uh, Marge the Sarge. You might know her. Her name is Miss Joseph to some of you. I call Marge the Sarge because on the Beverly Hills reunion, Dorit came very clear and said, Kyle is a punisher. You are punishing me for speaking up in defense of Kathy last year when I had on a blue dress and my hair was in a braid and I looked way better than I do this year with his fucking stupid hood on. And you're a punisher. Well, the Sodge, the Sodge is a punisher. Modge the Sodge. You do it her way or there's the highway. I got none that everyone says, oh, you're so bitter against Teresa. You're so bitter against Marge. I think it's so funny I say the same shit against Kyle. I say shit against Robin Dixon. All of a sudden, I hate these two. I don't care if the Sarge and Teresa get married. But anyway, that's why I call her the Sarge. But so there's these things going around. And it's, 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 since when does Teresa turn down a dollar? I doubt she turned down a spinoff. But 
is Teresa really, because it seemed like that, talking to fans and breaking these NDAs and talking about how she, like, was offered a spinoff and that's okay with Bravo, that she's airing out her contracts and her business and where the hell is Jim Leonard? I mean, and then there's all these rumors, you know, that have always gone around that she pays off the, this one and that one and this podcast. And it's like, girl, Teresa, I give advice here. Run, cease and desist all communication with all of these fucking people, girl. They're bringing you down. And by the way, if they all know something about you or whatever, oh my God, cut ties. Put anything out you want about me. Expose it all. Talk about Teresa. Teresa, I don't know if any of this is true. I got to go read this again. But I was flipping through and I saw that and I'm like, is this true that Teresa Giudice was offered a spinoff, an RHOJ spinoff about her family? Because that's news to me. That that I find interesting. But I, why are you telling people this? And isn't that like a breach of your contract? I don't know. Doesn't matter. It didn't happen. Just one more thing. I still am thinking about that damn pink car he's driving. Louie, 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 all over Beverly Hills. I want to know, because she's love, love, love. This Teresa is in love. Your queen. She's your queen, guys. She's in love with this guy. Is she just, you mean to tell me, Gia Giudice, influencer, gorgeous from head to toe, they're not like a little embarrassed? I know Gia wasn't in Beverly Hills, but it's, Teresa is not a little bit embarrassed when this thing pulls up. I think she's a little embarrassed. I think she loves him. I think she's a little embarrassed. That's enough of fucking R-H-O-N-J. What was going to be the name of the spinoff, Teresa? Tell us, since you're talking today. We got other things. When the season comes, we'll recap it. We're only recapping it here. We got to move on. Um, the Valley. Everybody wants to know, am I watching The Valley? Will I recap The Valley? Maybe I'll recap The Valley here for a little bit. Um, I'm so confused by this show. You know why? <sighs> Guys, 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 guys. It's not good, but it's not bad. And I just go back to the bottom line. If it was not for Brittany Cartwright, Jax Taylor, and Kristen Doty, and let's just push Brittany out of there. If it wasn't for Jax and Kristen, who would be watching this show? Who? Now that's a moot point because Jax has wanted this on the air forever. And here it is. So I don't know. It's on the air anytime they talk about the diapers and the sitters and getting help. And 